good. Woo! Okay. Ah! And we're live. We are live. All right. So should I do the intro? Loud noises. Brick. <laughs> I don't know what we're yelling about. Brick, do you really love the lamp? I love lamp. I love lamp. I love, I lamp. love lamp. Okay. We good? We're good. We're good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever uh, podcast. We don't. We don't have a name yet. It's in the making, but yeah. it's going to be really cool. We're trying to figure out a name, um, but I, I have a couple ideas. We don't know if we want to revolve it around like Seattle or like our nicknames. I don't know. But like none of us are famous. And the whole concept of usually podcasts get views because there's famous people, but we're all like average people. There's a couple guys. I mean, we're not famous, but we're definitely not average either. So <laughs> Somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Let's get that. Yeah. Let's get that. Okay. So, um, but yeah, uh, my name's John. My you name good? is Jordan. I'm Kyle. But he's Chug. Yeah, that's Shim. Chug. And I'm Narwhal. Yeah. Actually, but you guys don't call me Narwhal. That's what's yeah. weird. Narwhal, Narwhal. It's like everyone weird. in the gaming scene calls me Narwhal. But you guys have never had. Let's call you John. Like no one calls name? me John in Texas at all. It's That's weird. weird. That's weird. Yeah. But um, I, we thought one way we wanted to kind of start the podcast by like, since no, no one really knows who any of us are, we wanted to explain like how we all became friends. Because like, these are my homies. Yeah. <laughs> We're brothers, yeah. man. So the first story <laughs> would be me and John because we met in kindergarten. Yep. And the first thing I remember about John is, well, the first time I ever went over to his house, he had this like heart issue. <laughs> he had to wear like he had to, like suction cups on his chest. And I walked in and I see this kid with his shirt off with suction cups on his chest. And I was like, Oh my god, am I gonna hurt this? Kid? Am I gonna hurt this kid? If you I thought I was like him? fragile. I, I was like afraid of this kid. I was like, Oh my god, is this like a bubble boy? Like, am I gonna hurt him? Like the guy from SpongeBob that's his bones are made out of glass. Yeah, that's what I thought John was. So I was a little afraid. I yeah. So when I was younger, I had um. I had to wear like a heart monitor and suction cups because my heart would beat too fast and I would feel like dizzy and weird, but I'm fine now. But yeah, so I wore a heart monitor and it, in kindergarten, first grade or kindergarten? kindergarten, kindergarten, we would play with marbles. And yep. you remember like you would, did, did you have those at your kindergarten where you would like attach different pieces together and make like this weird, like contraption and you'd see where the marbles yeah, would go you just like put marbles down and, and they would race like, go down a bunch of tubes and like yeah dude it, those it are so i would still play with those those are fun yeah. i could that was doctor's all... office those things no no those are no, 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 i guess i guess those are no, marbles. not those not but those balls in the those just, balls like, on the like the like the like the mini roller coaster thing yeah no not that not it was just like a bunch of tubes like and you just put marbles down it it really wasn't that cool but dude you know what's weird about elementary school is that the kids that were popular you were popular if you were like fast good at wall ball or kickball or kickball and that's like yeah. that's what defined if you were like a cool Especially kid early on it was wall ball yeah, yeah. Wall ball. Yeah. watermelon banana <laughs> dude we can't we came up with so many like what was stupid watermelon? rules what was watermelon it was you like had to you freeze can, no watermelon was like you, you, you can just go tag anyone and then throw it at the wall it was stupid we, no banana oh, was, freeze. was banana freeze banana was like you had to stop running and you had to throw it at the wall, yeah, the wall. Were. but and then if you touched the ball and you didn't and you dropped it then, then you had to run and touch the wall okay and Connor would always get you out. Yeah. Because yeah. Knutson like, would just rip it at the wall. <laughs> too good. Dude, Knutson was like, like way too cool for everybody in elementary too good. school. He kind of he boss, like, he's kind of an asshole. Kind yeah, of I, I didn't really like Knutson. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he was the most athletic in, the, in middle school. Now that he's school. really like, he's a pretty, like quiet, soft-spoken like, reserved, person. But yeah. he, was, he was an asshole in elementary school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, and then Shim. Yeah. Sh uh, I remember when I moved here. Kyle had a lemonade stand with like two of my other neighbors, Mac and Paul, legends, Mac and Paul, shout out. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> They'll probably never listen to this ever. But uh, yeah, and then the first time I actually talked to Kyle past the lemonade stand was like the next Sunday. And yeah. Ryan, we were going to, we were going to, we were about to go to church, my family was, and Ryan goes, I'll give you five bucks if you go talk to them. <laughs> it was Kyle and Paul burning ants on <laughs> Kyle's Dude, driveway. Wait, with a magnifying, with a magnifying glass? glass? With a magnifying yeah. glass. Yeah. And I was like, hey, what's up? And Kyle was like, hey, hi, hey. Hi. And then Paul was like, we're burning ants. And I was like, oh, cool. And, and, I, runs back to his and I just ran back to Ryan and he never paid yeah. me. <laughs> the first time my mom told me that, uh, that like we had new neighbors, my mom's like, oh, yeah, they have like three boys. Like. One of them's named, I think the kid your name, his name's like Rodney or something. <laughs> Rod I was like, I don't want to be a kid named Rodney. I don't know why she thought your name was Rodney. Rodney. Was like, yeah, it's like Ro Rodney Rocky Jordan. or Rodney or something. I was like, uh, all right. Dude, you guys remember, um, what was his name? The guy who's friends with Colin, 
uh, he's a couple years older than us. Miles, Miles O'Connell. Miles, yeah. Do you remember his mom would come and play like, like football with us? <laughs> she was the quarterback. Yeah. She would play re- at recess. Yeah, I remember that. In third grade. Yeah, know, in like, third. Uh, even yeah. in like. It was fourth? like, yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, probably third no. grade. They're no, they're probably in fifth grade. Wait, probably, when did you probably, move here? I was probably like really drunk in third grade. Didn't remember anything. <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> sure. Um, and then another thing is like. We never done a podcast before, so we're kind of just winging it. But we all have like different topics of like funny stories because we don't know what direction we we really want to take this. But we all have a lot of stories. So I had one that I wanted to ask. Um, okay, let's hear it. Let's, about, just, let's just go away. It's kind of out of left field. Have you guys ever sharded or like pooped your pants? <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. That I, actually happened to me recently. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> it doesn't happen to me for years, but okay, yeah, I have for one time. Years, but. Let's hear oh, it wait, how did it happen recently? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, how, was how does a 21 year old kid like yourself start <laughs> himself? Where was I, dude? Uh, it might have been. Might have been at work. At Shard- work? Shard- at Costco? At work. I think it was at work. <laughs> oh my god! Like know. while you were working, or you went to the bathroom to like clean uh, up? Well, I had to go to the bathroom, but I didn't make it all the way to the bathroom. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! And I thought it was gonna be a fart, and it wasn't a fart. <laughs> I mean, it was fine. It was fine. I, it was I remember um, I was – it was our neighbor's birthday party, and I was over there, and, like, I was really little, and all their friends were way older and bigger. And, like, we were playing with, like, BB – or, no, not BB guns, airsoft, airsoft guns, guns. And they had a really powerful gun, and, like, I really had to go to the bathroom. And they sh- – like, they, we were on the trampoline. You know they I don't know if you guys ever played those surf things. It was just them picking on me. But I was on the trampoline, and they were up on the play set, like, the swing up above with the high ground. And they would all shoot at me, and I had to like dance, like <laughs> yeah, I'd try and run around the thing and not get hit. That doesn't sound like Anyways, a I really had to poop while I was doing it, and they started hitting me, and it hurt really bad. They were all shooting me, and like I started like I got like started crying. I was in like elementary school, and I I ran home because it's across the street, and I ran home and I like poop myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I remember that, and like it was really gross. Wow. Then, yeah. The one time I started myself, we were. We were playing cops and robbers outside, uh, and I was just, I was in jail, and I was just like, I mean, I had farted, and I thought it was going to be just a fart, and it just wasn't a fart. <laughs> was, some stuff came out, so I was like, I just ran inside, changed my boxes real quick, and came back out. Oh, like, you never happened. told us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Wow. Dude, they, we're going to learn so much about each other on yeah. these. Because, you like, started. You didn't While wipe? we were playing cops, yeah, he just changed his box, but he didn't like go inside and wipe. I don't, I don't remember, but I can't. Oh, uh, he inside. doesn't remember now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I went inside and I changed out of my boxes. Oh, do you I wipe came back. after you poop? Yeah, John, I don't. I, I wipe after I poop. Yes, I do. Actually, recently <laughs> I bought. Actually, that brings up a debate topic. Debate topic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, what's your guys' favorite toilet paper? What do you mean? Like okay. Brand? I have like, I have like Charmin. To say. Charmin's obviously oh. superior to okay. Kirkland. I signature. recently made a power move and I got those those things that they're like baby wipes, but they're like flushable. Oh the yeah. the flush yeah. They're like, I've they're I've life heard changing. a lot of people doing that. They're, you wipe with nor- either they start with normal toilet paper and then no. use a baby wipe or just straight baby wipes. Yeah. I gotta figure out the right pattern of like baby I wipe to expensive, toilet paper. Though. Yeah. Lifestyle you live. See, I I hate spending money, so I use like recently when I've like been living on my own, I've been using like single ply Two toilet ply? paper. Oh, no, single like, ply, bro. That oh, wow. it's thin. It's like sandpaper. Yeah, wow. you gotta treat your butt. It hurts, right? dude. That's like school bathroom, public bathroom yeah, toilet paper. It's yeah. kind of bad. I think my mom gets that. No, but like I don't know a brand. I do like the ones that are I like just, Charmin. Like, really soft, strong. No, I Charmin or nothing <laughs> yeah. for me, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's right. like if I don't have Charmin, I'm not going to the bathroom. <laughs> Okay, guys, this might be weird. Hear me out. I thought I was the only one until I listened to a podcast with H3H3. Apparently, there's a whole community of guys that wipe back to front. I wipe back I, to front. I do that, too. Really? Yeah. Wait, like back, <laughs> well, yes. Wait, like, like back of your nuts to the front? Yeah, like you, you wipe no, to the no, front. Yeah, you no, go no, from no, like no, no, like, no, 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 like back here to like, like two balls. Like no, 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 most no, no, guys no, 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 from, wipe. So from you're wiping from the top of your butt crack to like your bottom of your nut sack yeah, yeah but it doesn't get on your nut yeah you don't like wipe your balls <laughs> i don't do that i do i, honest, I honestly didn't i never wanted to bring it up i know until there was like a setting that's, where that's like too because i've heard that like most people don't do that and then i feel yeah. kind of weird about it yeah yeah I, I always heard like if you're like really weird 
But because I thought like all guys wiped like from. The I know back. girls have to go front to back because they can get like UTI. If like, yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> but like <laughs> I'm not gonna get a UTI. Like yeah, no, and that's just how I learned. It's like what, yeah. that's I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who <laughs> Maybe, taught me. Probably my dad. Yeah, probably my dad. But like, <laughs> I I thought it was really unusual. But I now it was. We got sixty six percent of us who do it here. Yeah, you're the outcast now. No, I, I'm actually curious. It's how many a people... solid thirty three percent, though. It's a rock solid thirty three percent. No, I'm I'm curious how many weird things there are like in society that people think a majority of people do it a certain way, but actually they don't. But no one wants to admit it. You know, like, like uh, that cutting steak. What? Some people use no? scissors. Okay, I wasn't talking like that. <laughs> you mean? I was talking like sometimes people stick in, stick their fork in the wrong way or like are cutting with the wrong hand. Uh, I put it like hand. I put it upside down. Some people hold. Hands. Some people like some hold people their stab it. like a. I hold my spoon like, like I hold my spoon like this <laughs> with your whole fist. <laughs> wow! Wow! Dude, wow you can what see is this, this guy doing? This guy, <laughs> like, I don't know. When you're eating ice cream, like you're not gonna just gonna be like. Yeah. 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 You. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's easier to do this. I have more control. So you this eat way. cereal like this. Yep. <laughs> so okay, yeah, when I write though, when I hold a pencil, I like use my whole hand. Yeah, okay, well. Wait, when you guys eat ice cream, do you heat it up at all? Like some people put it in the microwave for like t- 10 seconds to get it like mushy. No, I've never it's done disgusting. that. Oh, that's, like, so that's like eating milk. No, you, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, don't that's melt like, it, you just make it soft. I just eat it. Even if it's like rock hard. <laughs> How cold is your freezer? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, um, anyways. Uh, I had something I wanted to bring up. Okay. Oh, Halloween. So it's almost Halloween. I don't know when this video will go up. If we don't even know if this video will this go is up October at all. October 27th. Yeah. 1.44 PM. But we don't know if this video will ever go up. This is more of like a test, but I think if it's funny enough. And if we like it, we'll put it up. Yeah. Get some fe- give us feedback. If you guys Feed listen to this, back. what we could do better. Um, I'm just going to say it. Halloween sucks. It's it's least, does, least it does. Least favorite does. holiday. Halloween is my least favorite. It's holiday. definitely people, the bottom. Some people are really into dressing up. I'm, total opposite i don't want to spend money i used to i don't want to spend money to dress up and then like wear it once and then never wear it again and it's like you wear it at least when you're older people wear costumes just to go get really drunk and it's like you can just go get really drunk without it like wear a flannel or something comfy yeah just say you're like say you're lumberjacked yeah i mean i get when people are like oh like you're a party pooper if you don't want to join in no that's that's like a pet peeve it's like don't call me a party pooper i'm the life of the party i'm just not dressed up i'm just not dressed up (laughs) Yeah, I, I just, it's definitely, what's your guys' favorite holiday then? Well, okay, wait, I have a question though. Does, does like New Year's count as a holiday? Would you consider yeah. that a holiday? Yeah, but I wouldn't put it like, I would say like the core holidays are like Christmas, Thanksgiving, Labor, or, Halloween, uh, <laughs> Labor Day, not Labor Day, 4th of July, President's Day, <laughs> yeah, 4th of July, like, not Labor Day, 4th of July, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Valentine's Day. No, <laughs> that's, that's a no. That, that, I guess. For a I lot would, of people, that's a big. Okay, holiday. I would put like know, Easter like, over Valentine's oh, Day. Oh yeah, well yeah, sure. Easter, right? Yeah. Do, would you consider like Mother's and Father's Day like core holidays? No. I was, <laughs> like sadly, I would, I would say no. Really those should be, but. I would consider those celebrations, but not a holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Birthdays. you might want to. I should probably listen, but you might want to talk with it like close. Sorry. Talk with it closer. Because yeah, I'm looking when it picks up our voices, and like. I don't know. Talk kind of close. I don't know. Anyways, anyways, but, back to Halloween and back to ho- your favorite holiday. Um, yeah, what's your what's your favorite and least favorite? I would say, mm, I'd I would, say like season. I like Christmas, but like the actual day, honestly, kind of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving because yeah. you just eat a bunch of food and watch football. Which yeah, like, I mean, I guess you kind of do anyway. I do usually I do that with anyways, like most Sunday. of your extended family. Yeah, but like ideally. Christmas. I'm kind of I'm always kind of bummed on Christmas because then like after it's Christmas it's like it's just nothing then it's like what New yeah because then there's like, nothing for a long time but there's New Year's I guess but like but and like, then it's just like uh it's like January and like yeah I, don't know. I mean there's, there's Valentine's nothing, Day on not February much, yeah but you guys don't think Valentine's Day counts for some reason <laughs> I mean yeah I mean it's good I I like it okay uh my <laughs> favorite holiday I'd probably say I kind of agree with that but I would say Christmas because I don't know. Well, because my birthday's a bit after Christmas, so I don't get like disappointed when Christmas is over because it's about to be my birthday. <laughs> but like, no, I like Christmas because usually we're with our family and I don't know. My least favorite though, I don't know if it's Halloween or Fourth of July. I don't really like Fourth of July. I like Fourth of July. I like Fourth of Summer. I used like, to not like, like it because like I wasn't a fan of fireworks, but now I'm kind of a fan of fireworks. Dude, it sucks that we can't do fireworks anymore. I know, I know. Like anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Apparently that's weird. Like in Texas, the fact that we can't 
like my friends in Texas are like, you can't do fireworks. It doesn't like, make no. sense because it's more dry there. So why? Well, yeah, they... but people like don't care as much there. That's stupid. People I feel care like. too much. Of... Do you guys carve pumpkins? Yeah, I haven't done uh, this year because I did it for the first time this year in like years, and it was very underwhelming. Yeah, I've, just, I haven't done it in a long the time. Process isn't fun. Like it looks cool after, but like I don't want. It looks cool, but then it gross. looks cool for like four days, and then they start to mold yeah, and mush down bad. and get all deformed, and yeah, I don't know. yeah it's gross. It's freaking bats. Yeah, um, I love Halloween. Okay, so this is totally unrelated. We we will get better at like segueing over time, like stuff. But anyways, I wanted to bring up. Um, we have a bunch of middle school stories that are hilarious, especially with us three for sure. Yeah. Um, we have this one teacher named Miss J, and we have this, the funniest stories ever with her. So I just yeah. wanted to tell a couple of them because they're great. But um, where, where do we start? Well, I guess start with poor K. You can tell so, that one. Okay, so one time, it's not even a good story. It's not. It's not a good story, <laughs> but I think it's funny. So we were just like in class. And nothing was happening, but she was acting really serious because the whole year, I don't know if you guys remember, but like she would record her She's class trying sessions because she was trying to get her master's. Yeah. So sometimes she would record like the whole hour long class. And this one day she was recording. So we knew she was being really serious. And like, she always acted like a better teacher on those days. Yeah. And she was like, all right, guys, I need you guys to like act really good and like be really serious. <laughs> she like so, calling all of her best students too. She would never like call. Yeah, them yeah. She would call them the kids that were good at Spanish <laughs> when all the rest of us were just like, what's going on? <laughs> but so Kyle and I were like sitting right near the front, I think. Yeah, we were at like the front table. Yeah. And we were like, there was two other girls at our table, I think. But Kyle, like she's talking and Kyle looks at me after when she's explaining for us to be serious. And Kyle goes like, hey, John. Poor K. <laughs> and I, I don't know why, but I thought it was so funny. And I just started crying. And we could, I think she had to, did she ask us to leave the room? She asked you to leave the room. I wasn't doing it. Wait, just, really? Uh, all I said was like, oh, poor K. <laughs> and then you you started laughing for some reason. And then she's like, okay, John, you need to be serious. Like, this is like being filmed, blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah. yeah. And then I think that's the only time I ever had to leave, get asked to leave a classroom. Yeah. I remember when she like, personally left because she Dude, was she broke down and started crying. crying remember when she kicked left? us out of the classroom yeah Wait, the whole class yes yeah we were, in a, por- we were, in, a, class. We were in a portable and like she lay were you in our class too yeah, yeah. We, we she laid out all the like like all those el paso books or whatever yeah for, like as like a seating chart and then kids like moved them so they could sit by their friends <laughs> and then she saw that people did that and so she like walks in she's like who moved my box? And then she's like, everyone, get out of here. So we all were outside. It was raining. It was in a portable. So we are just outside in the rain. And we were out there for like 15 minutes while she was just like having a mental breakdown. <laughs> oh, then, also, you're going to want to talk into the, talk into the, the back of the mic. It's still picking you up, but it'll sound better if you talk into the front. Sorry about this, guys. No, you're good. Um, um, yeah. No, so <laughs> wait. So she kicked us all out. And then, do you remember, was it the same day when she started having, like, a mental breakdown and started crying and left? She literally left. It happened school. a couple times. Like, it, yeah. like it ha- my sister had her, too, and it, she did it yeah. in her class, too. Like, we're in middle school. We were in, like, what? So, was it seventh grade? Eighth, grade. eighth grade. Eighth grade. And she literally started crying. Like, no, we didn't even do anything. Like, usually I can tell if the students are being an yeah. asshole to the teacher. No, we didn't But do we anything. weren't being mean. Yeah. And someone said something, and she started crying. She walked out, went to the parking lot, and the parking lot is right next to the where the the Portable, portables are yeah. we saw her get in her car and drive away <laughs> and we were like in class <laughs> i remember like at the end of it like at the end of the year when she was done with her masters too she like broke down just because she was like I'm, I'm so proud of you guys like you guys were so helpful and i've just been through so much and like she like broke down in front of our class and we're just a bunch of awkward eighth graders and it was just kind of like oh <laughs> all right sorry <laughs> i remember um she would wear a bunch of clothes from justice Oh my god! And Justice yeah. has like the, the age limit for Justice it was like, is like thirteen year old. Yeah, girls. and she, just, I don't she wore that. it like every day. Dude, I, I like I, I'm convinced she wore her daughter's clothes. Hey, but whatever your style is, if it fits, it fits. Yeah, Shoe fits I guess. Where? But I mean, isn't like Juicy the adult version of Justice, or am I just is like it? totally wrong? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Girls were wear those Maybe. like juicy things, it's like velvet. Yeah, am I the only one that remembers this? Yeah, velvet pants. That was very freshman year. Um, uh, we also have some good lunch stories. Too okay, from, yeah. I also wanted to tell some of our lunch stories because. <laughs> okay, wait. First, before we do this, this is a story that's unrelated. Well, okay, it's related to lunch, but this is just a story I need to get off my chest. One time in sixth grade, something that really set me back in life. I was sitting at lunch, just eating my food, and then this kid, just he's walking behind me with a piece of pizza, and he just trips, 
slaps the pizza into the side of my head. What? <laughs> you guys don't remember this? No. No. He, I, I'm, I'm just sitting here all of a sudden, just warmth on the side of my head. I'm like, what is going on? And this kid's like, oh, sorry, bro. And just walks. I never saw who it was. <laughs> His middle school pizzas were so Wa- greasy. Walked away. Yeah. And so I'm just like sitting there just like. Like wiping <laughs> wait, grease wait, off. Did he leave the pizza or did he take the no, pizza? No, he, he took it and left. He just, I don't even know what happened, but he goes, Oh, sorry. Slams into the side of my head and then just walks away. I never saw who, you it, know was. who it was. No, did I never. Him... Yeah, he just walked so away. Did you like go to the bathroom and clean no, up? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just sitting there. I was kind of like, I had my sweatshirt on. I was like wiping <laughs> grease off my head. And um, after that, I was just, it really, like I said, it set me back. I was just kind of like, Wait, uh-huh. how, you, what do you mean that set you back? Oh. Like in life? Grease like head. your whole education I was just like, career? After that, I was just so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh. Was that the I defining got, moment? I got greased, and that's when I realized, <laughs> like, pizza face. I'm, this is what I am. I'm just awkward now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I didn't talk after PF that. PF chug. Pizza face chug. <laughs> pizza <Yeah>. face chug. <laughs> right in the side of my face. We, um... I remember, I think it was eighth grade, when people were actually getting more, like, not awkward and were, like, play jokes on people and stuff we were still awkward but was pretty awkward but i remember with shim one day i think there was two different instances but one you remember it would like where it was a thing where people would drink out of their water bottle and as they were drinking you would like sque- this would was in sixth over. grade i remember this yeah and you would squeeze the end grade? of the bottle and it would like <laughs> yeah. sh- like pour into their mouth and like yeah. overflow it was Connor Knudsen squeeze it. Yeah, oh, so Jordan, dude, I totally remember that. I was so And you had, you had gray drinking, shorts on, too. And Connor I was so squeezed pissed. the water bottle, and it goes yeah, all and I had, clothes. I had, like, silver air Jordan shorts on. I was like, I was like dude. <laughs> I'm going home. Yeah, I remember you said no. that. You're like, I'm going and then, home. And then there was another time when, like, Brooks, like, <laughs> Brooks, like st- took my seat. So I was just, like, playfully just trying to get back in. And then he, like, shoves tater tots with ketchup all over, like, my shirt. Because, like, I had them in my hand. I remember that. And I was like, I'm going home. <laughs> yeah, but that I remember that. That, that time you were a lot more like wow you just did that yeah. like you were a lot more I was like, like calm but you were pissed yeah dude do you guys remember when luke got double pants at lunch <laughs> <laughs> i don't remember that but yeah i remember you talking i was about. No, i was like was, talking to him it was george who is i know who's in front of me you i was yes. talking to him and all of a sudden he, he just like leans down like pulls his pants up and like runs away <laughs> I feel bad because that's like that's actually like not cool. Like getting especially, double pants is double, really especially nice. in middle school double too when you're just so yeah. awkward. That's funny yeah. though. Like it's one thing if you get pants, it's like, like haha. Double pants. Double like, pants. Come on, that's also Luke cool. though, so it's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, there was. Do you guys have any other middle school stories? Oh, we had some high school lunch stories. We were like oh. we were so immature in high school. We used yeah. to like take each other's backpacks and then throw them in the girls' bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> and we'd have to run in and go get them. Well, no, we would. Like in <laughs> high school, everywhere we went at lunchtime, like sophomore year, I would take. Suck for that. <laughs> I would take my backpack everywhere I went because yeah. if you left the you table left your backpack, with your over. backpack there, if you went to go like get a drink, you, they, get you would with. they would always hide your backpack <laughs> it was gone. somewhere. Yeah, and it was always in the girls' bathroom. Do you remember when we would turtle people's backpacks? Yeah, <laughs> the worst was when someone got turtled and thrown into the girls' bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the worst. <laughs> then you got to get your backpack and then you're like, well, now I got to undo this. I remember I, I had such a short temper for that, though. Like, if you yeah. guys ever tried to prank me, I'd be like, fuck. That's why yeah. senior year when I was a student, I was so happy. I was like, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We also had the cheese stick, too. Like, my mom would put a cheese stick in my lunch every day. <laughs> yeah. And you would never, you no, never, no one, ever ate nobody it. Nobody ever ate it. Well, like, I didn't want it. for lunch. Yeah, I, I didn't want the cheese <laughs> stick. Ever why, do you, why do you ever tell your mom, like, hey, mom, I... I don't know. I usually don't eat these. Uh, <laughs> I usually don't eat them. like three out of the four things you pack it for lunch. I yeah. only eat the goldfish. So I'm gonna break her heart. <laughs> just give me that. <laughs> so, anyways, with the cheese stick, we'd just like take the cheese stick out and like just kind of like throw it at people, slap each other with it. Yeah. One time we put it in our friend Chris's hood. And <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was in his hood from like 12 o'clock, and then he sends a Snapchat at like 5 p.m. saying like, "Who put this in my hood?" <laughs> I remember. Uh, didn't one lunch like the whole. Our sole purpose of that lunch was to like make the cheese stick as disgusting as possible. Probably. And we put a bunch of stuff on it and we like put it in a Gatorade bottle and like <laughs> shook it oh, up. We were, stuff. Like, so, we were probably so annoying to clean <laughs> so up after. Immature. We were so annoying. Yeah. yeah. I remember um, there was, I don't want to say his name because I don't want to sound like we're making fun of him, but there was one year when like a kid would sit at our lunch table that like oh. we didn't really know him at all. And yeah. like we were never mean to him, but we just didn't know who yeah. he was. And he would like, randomly sat with us for like a whole semester we were just the cool kids at the, at the school so like no like we weren't everyone, even like not, everyone not really. to sit with us no we, we weren't even like the cool kids we were just kind of average we, we just, just had there. our own little group and like yeah. he started sitting with us and like i remember one time he like did something to jordan i don't know oh, if he, dude no, no. no he took his backpack he took my backpack he, just he, tra- Wait, he joined in on like and, the like, backpack and like i was like dude you're not a part of this and like he like wouldn't tell me where it is and so i was like well you know what 
That's what he got someone is to be a little gay. And so I started dry humping him. Wait, I don't what? Remember, I don't remember I this. don't remember that. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? So that's how you pissed him off? You no, know? I just like started like hugging him. I was like, hey, come on. Tell me what my backpack is. He's like, dude, get away from me. I'm like, oh, you're a homophobe. He goes, no, dude, just get away from me. I'm like, come on, just tell me what my backpack is. And I got really, like, I got kind of weird with him. This is news to me. I did and, not uh, know this. I didn't, I didn't know that. And, 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 he was like, and he was like, dude, dude, it's around the hallway, like down the hall. I'm like, cool, thanks. <laughs> that's a weird and, tactic. Uh, and then he came back. He's like, he, I think he was telling Connor so he was telling someone he was like dude Jordan's so weird that like, he was being so gay with me I was like yeah but I got my ba- I got my backpack back <laughs> I don't remember that at all I, I remember also, it vividly <laughs> I also remember you guys gave me so much shit there was like there was all the guys and we never even had that many girlfriends <laughs> oh, yeah. and you like and you were the only one at the bro, other table I was always like the Bailey. yeah I was the last one yeah, to was, lunch I was just trying to and so like Bailey some. would always sit with Madison and like our friends yeah, and like the, I, Bailey and Madison were the only girls that ever sat with us and so like it was all the guys, and then Bailey and Madison, and then there was one spot, and I would always sit there, and you guys were like, oh, oh John, John and Bailey. I'm like, yeah, God. I was just trying to flirt all lunch. Oh, I was, it was the I only totally open remember that. That was so yeah. funny. Yeah. One sec. Let me, let me make sure we're still good. Test, test. Hello. Ha, ha. Okay, Tim. Talk more like right here. Oh, oh, my so I'm right. talking in the mic, okay. and I'm doing yeah, my thing. Fine. Kyle? Yeah. Yep, you're good. Yeah, hey. Oh, dude, up, my balls really hurt. Why? Has this ever happened to you guys? Or just like start randomly hurting? No, dude, what's with you and balls? No, you actually, about- actually, sometimes my yeah, yeah, that happens to me. Sometimes. Actually, uh, last year in college, I went to the doctor because like my balls started really hurting like randomly, and I was kind of worried. I'm like, my balls just shouldn't hurt. And apparently, for he found out like there's nothing wrong with my balls, but for me, my stress mechanism is when I get really, really stressed. Like your balls, stress, your times, stress goes my, to your balls. Yeah, my balls start hurting. Like, you, like stress goes to people's shoulders or neck. Yeah, <laughs> my stress goes to go down to his balls. <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, that's just like seems like that's how your body reacts to stress." It's kind of weird. Well, yours are hurting. Maybe you're stressed. <laughs> no, I'm not stressed right now, but they just hurt. You're talking about how you're like in basketball when you would dive on the floor. Sometimes your like balls would get pinched. No, it was like your like the tip of your dick would Uh-oh. get pinched. That's not a good. It never feeling. happened to me, but. I, I know what you mean though. Yeah. Yo, do you remember um, in select basketball or I don't know when it was, but when we were in a scrimmage and you bashed your head against a brick wall? Yeah. <laughs> got a big yellow egg on your forehead. Yeah. Good times. Want to tell that story? Yeah, we were just playing like it was like a drill where it was like ultimate frisbee, but like with the basketball was like was working it Blake on Blake who nailed you in the wall. Yeah, it was oh, Blake. Like, like, <laughs> you can't <laughs> dribble, but you can pass. Yeah, you're just like yeah, we were just trying to like whatever score, and there was like someone threw just a really shitty pass and it was like in the corner it was at discovery too where like the walls are like really jagged and like not <laughs> was it discovery or um, oh, no 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 it was it um was endeavor. endeavor it was endeavor yeah. but it's like the same type of wall yeah and like someone throws it near the wall and i'm just like going after this ball and then blake just pushes me and then just go <laughs> head first forehead first into Dude, the wall you had a big egg and like yeah I, me and your dad went to the bathroom to like go look at my face and then i just like lift my hair up and it's just like this big yeah, like, you had the on my forehead. Forehead. yeah <laughs> yeah kyle and i both that had was the thing yeah. that was the thing i had it first honestly john I, copied me i wish i kind of kept my part of mm. me wishes i kept the beaver hair yeah i, I don't <laughs> but i feel like it makes you look way younger than you are yeah. when you have like swooshy hair like that yeah Weird fact. You, know, you remember when you also like got a concussion from the snowmobile? Yeah, that's another story. Um, shout out to my dad. <laughs> we were on a snowmobile. I was in third grade, and I was like too small to sit on the back. I couldn't. I couldn't hold myself down. I guess so. He would like. I was like on the front, and he would kind of like reach wrap his hand. You. Yeah, he'd wrap around me, and we were just going. And then uh, we hit a bump or something, and then. I'm just on the front with my, I had like a, I didn't even have like a snowmobile helmet on. I had like a ski helmet with like ski goggles on. So like my face is just not protected. So I'm like, we're going. And then we just hit a bump and I'm just <laughs> face down you on the front. You got knocked out, right? Yeah. I was unconscious for like, I don't really know, probably 15 seconds. But I remember like, I remember like crashing and then uh, I like couldn't see anything and it was black. And then I could, I could start hearing again. I could hear my dad just being like, oh my God, Kyle, Kyle, wake up, wake up. And then like, eventually I could I got my vision back and then like all the pain came back and I was like crying and stuff and like my I had this bruise from my goggles that was like 
just it outlined my whole goggles <laughs> and like my nose was green and like blue and purple. Dude, and your I nose had dr- was literally I green. Had, I, I don't know how I, I probably broke it. I don't know. And I had like dried like crusty blood in my nose and I couldn't like get it out of my nose because it hurt. So I'd have to like take a tissue and just kind of like tickle my nose, like get all this <laughs> blood out. That's how, dude, we were laughing now, but that like that could have been really bad. I know. My dad's like, oh yeah, I really hurt my knee really bad when that <laughs> happened. I'm like, dude, I was knocked out. Yeah. Um. Yo, okay, so another thing, uh, like, I go by Narwhal in, like, the game. <coughs> like, oh, my God, <laughs> chill. Sorry. Uh, so I go by Narwhal in, like, the gaming YouTube sphere. Uh, like, my friends will call me Narwhal, but, like, the gaming people do. And so, and then we all have gamer tags, and I wanted to, like, talk about our origins of our gamer tags because they're pretty funny. Mm. Well, mine started. My <laughs> first my first gamer tag was I go noobin tubin, which <laughs> it really doesn't make much sense to other people. But <laughs> one time we were at John's house and they were playing like this is before I, I had ever had Xbox. Like I was I was late to the Xbox game. I, I was a GameCube kid. Yeah. So like my first Xbox game was like Modern Warfare three. But I, we were just playing COD in John's house and then someone said something about like a noob tube, which is just like a grenade launcher. And I thought they said noob and tube, and I thought that was so funny. And that's, <laughs> didn't, didn't it autocorrect? I thought because you were like speaking to like Siri on your iPod. Or no, I, I remember. Thought I thought I thought you guys said it was no, no. I, I thought know. you guys said it noob and tube. Kyle's brain. I just ears. it was just my bad ears, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and then I we all thought that was funny, and then for some reason I made that my gamer tag, and then like kids online would be like, "Oh my god, this ego nub and tubbin kid!" Like <laughs> nubbin tubbin nubbin tubbin nubbin tubbin. <laughs> nub <and tubbin. laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. And then Shim, <coughs> we just call you Shim because your last name. Yeah, but. but my brother made the account, and so it was get some shimmy because it was like that from from that one video. Um, it's just like get some. Wait, what? Dude, I don't. Is it a dude, or it's like a it's like a video from a long time ago. I haven't seen it in a while, but yeah, it's a video of some person just saying get some. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and Ryan thought it was really funny and creative, get so he's like, "Get shimmy. some shimmy." God, my voice keeps. He's crying. like, "Come get some." See, yours actually makes sense. And then yeah, mine doesn't make sense. And then I parted ways from that. I was like, "I want my own thing." And there's a Sea Town Clan because I mean, we're from Sammamish, but we like claim Seattle. we claim we claim Seattle. Clans yeah. were also really cool back in the day. <laughs> yeah, clans. And so uh, we were Sea Town Clan. There's like a Sea Town. Like everyone C-town, had Sea Town blank. Yeah, blank. And so I did Sea Town Shimmy because. My last name. And then, so, and then you also, we call you, if this podcast, well, we're hoping this podcast continues to happen, but we call you Chug quite a bit. Yeah. So what's the, uh. Another what's dumb story. So this wait, now, now your gamer tag is. Big what? Chug 36. Chug. Big Chug. Big Chug. <laughs> Big Chug was, actually just Chug was taken. I was kind of bummed, but anyways. So <laughs> it's really not even a cool story. Like it started off when I was pro I was young and my cousin we were like in a movie theater and my cousin was trying to annoy me and she kept like hugging me and saying like chug wants a hug i don't know why she was just like little and just said something dumb and so she started calling me chug and then like whatever that just happened you know and then like five years wait and then like five years later and then she was at one of my baseball games and she kept yelling like go chug and then one of my one of our friends moms heard that and just she thought that was hilarious so she started calling me chug and then just spread and everyone calls me chug now yeah. And people were like, oh, does it have to do with drinking? Like, are you good at chugging? I'm like, no. <laughs> my cousin called me Chug because it rhymes with hug. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why I have my nickname. Um, and then mine's Narwhal. And uh, I remember my first gamer tag. It's funny. All of our names kind of came from our gamer tags. <laughs> well, <laughs> your first, no, mine, your first yeah. gamer tag was like. My first game tag was, was ferret. Kamikaze <laughs> ferret, but it felt ferret wrong. Ferret wrong. <laughs> I didn't know. Like I, I was so young and I was so confident. Like I didn't even double check it on Google or anything. I was just confident that you spelled ferret. Ferret. F a r i t. How do you spell that? F e r r e t. I well wouldn't have known that. Um. So it was not even close. <laughs> and I did it in caps lock. So the I and the T like both are like tall letters and they like blend in together. So. Everyone would call me Kamikaze Fart, <laughs> and like I got really mad about it, and I didn't, I didn't really like it because I would get like, you join a Modern Warfare Two lobby, and all these older guys like, oh hey, Kamikaze, Kamikaze Fart. fart. <laughs> um, but and then I got reported. Someone was like, dude, your name is really offensive because Kamikaze, like, it's not a good. Apparently, that's really offensive. Apparently, apparently, <laughs> I didn't find it. Of, think it was offensive, but people reported it, and so Xbox let me change my name for free because they like forced me to change it 
and I wanted like another cool animal, but I didn't want a ferret because I don't know. I thought ferrets were cool, and so I was like, <laughs> I was like Trey. I thought ferrets were cool. I was like Trey. Like I called him. I was like, what's a really cool badass animal? He's like, I don't know, like a narwhal, it has a <laughs> horn, and so. I chose exotic narwhal, but then exotic sounded like a stripper to me. Like whenever I hear the word exotic, I think of like strippers. So, <laughs> yeah. right. but um, yeah. So that's that. In case this ever gets a big podcast and people are wondering why we call each other that. Um, okay. Another thing, yo, iPhone games back in the day. Mm. Dragon Veil, Zombie Dragon Farm, Vail. Zombie Farm. Because you were playing, I saw you were playing a game earlier, but I haven't played like any games on my phone in so long. I'm really like nothing can compete. With I those used games. to not play games after after like the restaurant story kind of died and the, oh. and all that. Uh, I stopped oh. playing games, <laughs> and then now I started playing games again just because I get bored. Yeah. Often. Yeah. So, what do you think? Which game do you think you've invested the most time? Zombie Farm. Zombie Farm. Into? Restaurant Story. Zombie Farm. Zombie Farm. We spent an entire farm. summer. Summer. An entire summer on Zombie Farm. We spent like, probably time, entire paycheck. So on it. But by paycheck. the time before we could get a paycheck <laughs> allowance. How much money you think you spent on that? Like easily. No, probably like around fifty probably, bucks. Oh. Yeah, it's not that. Some just, people, people just spend buying brains. Dollars on Fortnite. Right? Yeah, so it's well, not that bad. That's different though, because you're old and like you should be more responsible. Yeah. We were just a couple of dumb seventh graders in Jordan's garage. Like, text check. Hey, want to shoot hoops? Sure, shoot hoops for ten minutes, and then go into his garage and just play zombie farm, <laughs> buying brains. <laughs> buying <God>. brains. <laughs> buying brains. <laughs> I remember, but you guys couldn't have played it for that long because by the time I got an iPhone and like got into like, because I didn't have one before, and you guys were playing on your iPods. But by the time I got one, you guys had already stopped playing that game. Yeah, it was just like a summer. Yeah, it was just a. Well, because once, oh my god, dude! I had the, I had a notebook like a just like a spiral, and. In, inside was like three or four pages of like every combination. Oh, you can get for different you know, zombies. You know, how you, you could create the strongest <laughs> zombies with like by pl- like so a you, tomato so head you, zombie. So you plant like a this, like a brute zombie in the middle, and then you plant like onions and like yeah. radishes oh and potatoes God, around it. That. So like it becomes this huge like yeah. creation of a yeah. zombie. And then you had that written down. Yeah, dude. Oh my. God. And I would just I would just like open the book and just like plant. Okay, okay, this zombie needs this. And then I was just like the greatest zombies. <laughs> they'd always destroy the farmers, and I would get too good at it, so I stopped playing. Yeah. Games like that where you had to grind, like you always had to like check it. restaurant story like, too. Those were fun. Restaurant story was like, omelet was ready like every 60 seconds. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God. I, it, you like, you pay so much attention to it for so long, and then there comes a point where you're like, screw this, and then you just delete it, and it's yeah. like, all that work was for nothing. <laughs> That's how all games are too. That's how it is with like Clash of Clans and like... I never played Clash of Clans. Dragon Veil. Vale. Royale. Yeah. I played that recently I again. I got it again, and then I stopped playing it because I realized I'm 20. <laughs> <laughs> I spent so much. So there's the, there's this game. I th- I feel like it wasn't that popular except for our group. But there was this really famous game when we were in middle school called Restaurant Story and Bakery Story. Mm. And Kyle got all of us into it. Did he get you into it, or did you guys start at the same time? I only got it because no, my no. sister, like, I, it was my time. sister's old eye touch, and it was already on there, oh, and so yeah. she was already on level like fifty. But I just took it to the next level Dude, and got to level like a hundred ninety something. <laughs> yeah, and then I deleted it, and then I lost my, like, Lo- your login. my login. Yeah. I remember trying to get it back when we were at the airport going to Vail. I tried to get it back, and they, they didn't even email, email me back. I think that game is the most addicted I've been to any iPhone game. Is big yeah. restaurant story. I would have like a, I had like a just a method of doing it. Like I'd wake up and I'd do an eight hour thing while I'm at school. Yeah, and I'd come well, back and then come back when you yeah, come back like, like a three hour thing. Oh yeah, your iPod touched. You're like, I'm just gonna come back and then. Yeah. Check on like it. overnight, I do like a sixteen hour. Yeah, dude, you like or like you, you like have this time schedule. Or if I knew I was gonna go camping for the weekend, I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna do one that's gonna take three days. I'm gonna take, <laughs> I'm gonna do the stew. Stew took two days. <laughs> I remember. I'm gonna do the stew, and then I'd just come back, and my my food wouldn't be spoiled. Yo, it's perfect. You know what's funny is we still can't cook for shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, do do you remember uh Dragon Veil? Vale? And then yeah. when. It was really fun, but then everyone started jailbreaking their iPhones. Yeah, Willig. Willig, yeah. Willig. Yeah, Willig. <laughs> started, I think, started it all. And then that and was then you, really got, like, you, like, started cheating, and then it doesn't get fun anymore. Yeah. I never jailbroke it, but, like, I saw Willig, and I was like, oh, I'm getting so far behind. Like, he has the rainbow dragon and all that. And He's, I'm like, like, everything I'm, possible I'm like, you could have. I'm just going to stop playing it. Like, there's, yeah. no, there's no point in me trying to catch up. I just started cheating. That I started cheating with Willig, and we all just bought yeah. every dragon and, like... Those were the days, man. Yeah. I wrote down what's your most embarrassing moment. I was definitely gonna talk about the pizza getting oh, slapped in yeah. my head, but that story's already been told. I have a really embarrassing story, not with friends, but with my f- parents. I, okay. I, when I was in elementary school, I my parents would pack me lunch, but I didn't like to eat that much, 
And so I don't even know if I've told you guys this, I but this story. I didn't eat that much, but I felt really bad and guilty if I didn't eat my whole lunch because like my mom took her time to make it. And, and you're talking shit bad. about me not eating my cheese stick. <laughs> okay, but I was in elementary school. That's different. Okay. Well, I was, yeah, that's I would eat everything in, in middle school or in high school, but in elementary school, I didn't eat my lunch and I felt bad and I didn't want to bring it home and be like, I didn't eat any of your lunch that you made me. So I would either throw it away at school, the parts I didn't eat or one time I brought it back and it was in my backpack and my mom was going to go through my backpack, I think. And I didn't want her to like see it and be like, why didn't you eat your lunch? So I took it outside and there was like this was old, this old abandoned tractor outside <laughs> right back there. But I didn't. And so I, I was going to like hide it in this like abandoned rundown tractor just like, because I didn't know where to put it. <laughs> and I didn't want to put it in the garbage because they would see it. And so I put it in this tractor. But the thing is, is in the office where my parents' computer is, is you can look out and yeah. see that. Like, it's right in your line of sight. And I didn't know, but my mom was on the computer when I did that. And so I got back in and she was like, like, hey, what did you just take out <laughs> to the tractor? And like, why? What is that? And I was like, uh, uh I'm sorry. <laughs> and I started crying. Yeah. yeah. My sister used to do that with her vitamins. She didn't want to eat her vitamins. So she would stuff them down the side of the couch. Like my, my mom would give her the vitamins and then she would just like kind of, put, there was like one flavor that she didn't like and she'd put them down the side of the couch. And so like we, we took the cushions off the couch and my mom just finds like hundreds of vitamins. And then recently when I was moving into my apartment, we had that same couch and we were moving it, a vitamin fell out. And this was from like 10 years ago. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I remember your like your house i have so many memories from your house kyle but specifically you remember you, well of course you remember your old cat who was blind and deaf she had diabetes had no depth perception can you feel she was also blind so there how well, could you have depth perception oh, when you're yeah, blind that makes sense but yeah she would it's kind of sad what was her name, lucy? lucy she was like 21 yeah. she'd go up into the, like my mom's room in her closet and she was just like confused and old and she'd just go like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she bro we'd have sleepovers stuff. and we it would be like really late in the night and we'd be about to fall asleep and i would hear like and i'd be like oh, i'll go get lucy <laughs> yeah, yeah that was really funny um also grossy mm. throwback to grossy rp so i used to have a dog a golden retriever named rosie and she was allergic to literally everything <laughs> and so she since she was always allergic she was always itchy and would always roll around in the grass and smell really bad it smelled terrible she, she smelled so that's bad. that's why we called her grossy <laughs> and so eventually everyone just started calling her grossy but it's sad because she was a really cool dog and she was really cute but like she, she had this terrible bad. reputation <laughs> she just really smelled bad we, we wake up to her like itching her hot spots and just be like <laughs> <laughs> yeah she'd like, like yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah um and I remember we were talking about earlier when we all like became friends. I remember when you, the first time you spent the night here, you oh, brought, yeah. I brought a monkey over. Yeah, it was a stuffed, stuffed animal monkey. monkey. His name is Bart. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rosie took him and just kind of like carried him around. And then when I got him back, he was all crusty just from her <laughs> saliva. Some, yeah. Her dried saliva. <laughs> he was never the same. He was just crusty ever since. Yeah. Also, do you remember the first time I ever went to your house? I think, I think the first time ever. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Um, we were, there was Kyle S and Kyle H and we went over to Kyle H's house, which was in a different part of the cul-de-sac and we were on the scooters and there's a really steep hill. And for some reason I just decided to like dive bomb it Yeah. and I like couldn't stop. And at the end it was like a dead end and I couldn't stop. And I like, I think I went like over the edge and like, got, I, did I cut every you, part Yeah. Of my you just body. like fall off the scooter. Yeah. You've gotten hurt a lot at my house because there was other time we were playing cops and robbers and you slipped in our neighbor's driveway. Yeah. Yeah. I had so much chin. Dude, but those were the days, man. Yeah. Like playing cops and robbers in the street. We spent so many hours out in that, yeah. that little yeah. area. Mm. I remember, dude, have you ever seen that thing where it's like, there was one day when you and your friends as kids played outside for the last time as a group and no one mm, knew yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. I, I wish we could go back and really I wonder sad. what the last time was. Probably play cops and robbers. Yeah, we're cops probably and like Rogers. a little too like bordering on like kind of too old to be like playing cops and robbers. Yeah, 18. that was also probably like I don't know because there was a summer. There were summers when we would just like sit at home and just play Call of Duty, like Quick Scope or like Dude, Infection, like Michael Myers. Yeah. I think that's when we stopped playing outside. Yeah, when we got really addicted to <laughs> yeah. Modern Warfare Three or whatever. Yeah. Wow, we just play Infected. Yeah, just playing infected. Like oh the Halo. Infected on dome. In, in Halo, we could yeah, forge. We could forge those like uh, race tracks. Oh, oh the yeah. custom games. Yeah. yeah. I also remember just like like playing infected. There's all these different glitch spots that you couldn't that only like a couple people could get to. It'd be like Willig. Of course, yeah. we know the glitch yeah. spot. Willig and Knutson are always yeah. always the best. So we could just never kill them. 
Dude, oh. you guys remember uh, Wii Bowling? The, we were really yeah. into Wii Sports oh, yeah. for a while. You were a freak. Yeah. I could Kyle? like I could like go out of the room down my stairs and yeah, then still dude, just like, go to the hallway. <laughs> Not even looking at the screen in a different room yeah. and just yeah. Phew, dude, yeah. flick of the wrist. Yeah. Yep. Gotta get some spin. I always it. wanted like the perfect game of just strikes all every frame, but I only mm. just like I don't think I ever the did. eighth frame. I would always stick to the eighth frame or the choke. ninth frame and choke. <laughs> and like, no. I, I I definitely have least favorite teachers, but since we don't know who's gonna listen to this podcast, like I don't want to like talk shit about <laughs> anyone that like might still be. I'm sorry. This. I don't think Mr. Hayward's listening to this podcast. <laughs> well, yeah, no, no, Mr. Hayward was. was pretty remember, uh, yo, <gasps> remember Mrs. Bushy. Yeah, dude, I had a uh, Mrs. Oh, yeah, Jacobs, but oh, I was in your oh, class, dude. Like, was was she, was she the one that would come teach cur- cursive? Yeah, yeah, we'd dude, switch. Yeah, we would switch teachers. I was just like, oh, Mrs. Bushy's coming over to teach cursive. <laughs> I was like, oh god. Hey, okay, real quick, I don't yeah. want to forget. We were talking about Hayward. Do you remember we had him for like one semester for like I don't know what the class it was, was like. like. It was like yeah. half, it was like a lab. It was thing. half chemistry one semester and half then physics, half yeah. physics, but. It was like you, me, and Nick, and, and Luke. Luke, and they put a tangerine, or like a yeah. This a was Satsuma, this was Nick, like one of those cuties. Yeah, and they put it in like the back drawer at the beginning of the semester, yeah. and they left it in there the entire semester. Yeah. and he never found it, and it was That's like really molded bad. into the. It was like it turned like black, and then it was like really hard. That's so we were gross. terrible, like terrible freshmen, like. Dude, I remember like. One of you guys would always like, oh no, Nick would always like pretend to put goggles on and would like talk in like a Steve Irwin voice, like across the room. <laughs> oh yeah, we like we could just like talk during the class and he didn't do anything. Dude, you remember he, he never during... ever learned the classes the, anyone's name. He he called Dane Dante. Yeah, he looked at Louis, like, uh, <laughs> He would look at Dante. the Dante <laughs> on the but it, like literally up until the last day of the semester. He, he thought I was Nick and he thought Nick was Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And no one bothered to correct him because it's just yeah, I was like, oh, it's Hayward. In middle school, can we just talk about the hoedown and how we had to do a dancing unit? We danced in the assembly. You danced we together? Did. Yeah, we were we were in, the, in seventh grade. Me and you and like. Don't they force you to dance with a girl? Yeah. Yeah, I was pretty hyped about it though because either I think like was it? It was in it was in seventh grade. We had Parcher and me and you for some reason just went oh, real I hard in that. PE. I remember that. And we were like, yeah, we we'll be in the we assembly, so sure. Hard. And we were in the assembly like dancing in front of the whole school. I remember that. Why do they make us do that? Why do they know. have a dancing unit? It's just like awkward middle schoolers and they're probably yeah. just trying to like the hoedown was yeah. so awkward. Were you in the? Were you in my period though? I, was it eighth grade? And I yeah. had like. Madison, Francie, and Alessandra in my PE class, and I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, dancing unit, cake. <laughs> well, dude, they would line us up on the walls. They would line yeah, up boys yeah. on one side, girls you on the other. Walk, and, then, and then you, you would walk with a random. Yeah, and so I, everyone would try and, like, like, yeah, just like yeah. and move so yeah. they could, like, try and guess if they were yeah. lined up with, like, a hot yeah. girl. <laughs> and, like, you'd always get, like, one girl off, and then you'd get, like, some random chick, but you wanted yeah. to get, like, one like, of the oh, popular like, girls. Oh. <laughs> God. I won student of the year that year in seventh grade. Yeah. Well, how did it sick, man? I don't know. Yeah. Good for you, dude. It's sick. Something wow, that I'm this guy. Put on my job resume. But like we were in the like final assembly of the year and we're all just kind of sitting there together. And then they're like, okay, nominees for student of the year. And then like said my name and I was like, whoa, this is weird. And then they're like, okay, winner, Kyle Stafford. And I was like, I don't Everyone's like, I don't know. And I'm like, I don't know. Wait, did you walk up on stage and get like a, yeah, I got like, got a, certificate. I got, like a certificate and then they put me in the PE hall of fame. <laughs> Dude, the pacer test. Oh yeah. I just fight so hard to get I 100 tried, on there, so dude, I could get I on that list. So hard. I like, I only tried hard one year, and then once I got 100, I was like, oh, cool. I'm I don't know why like, I tried so hard. Came, what age was it where it went from like trying hard in PE was cool to like not grade. trying hard? In I think PE it was like eighth grade. Until eighth grade, yeah. Then we're like, oh, we're eighth graders. We're so yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, like we're. Be. I'm gonna get like 60 on the pacer. Then quick. <laughs> I'm. A- <laughs> You were like, you were like, yeah, I'm gonna get like 70. Bro, I can walk the whole pacer. I don't even need to run. Yeah. Well, because like, I think by like eighth grade, you like just didn't want to be sweaty in school. It, like, no, like, like, true. it was just, I no, it was like cool to not try. Yeah. Yeah. I just hated being sweaty. And dude, you know what's weird? And I, we sweat so much. Like, I'm us sweating two. right now. Actually, us three. I'm us sweating three also, right now. Yeah. Dude, growing up though, like, my dad was surprised when he was like, yo, do, do guys like shower in the locker room? Oh, yeah. Bro, Middle school, we never did. I feel no. like nowadays, no High school, one I kind of did. High school, I did no. every one. Like, if we had childs in the morning uh, on, like, a Wednesday, um, I would shower in the locker but, like, room. You would do it if it was, like, before or after school. But we'd even have... Oh, I wouldn't, like, yeah, I wouldn't just do it, like, after PE or anything. Yeah, we'd have, like, like no morning practices, that. though, like, in middle school, and we'd... 
like shower. No, we just I, wash I would, our heads. I would just, yeah, yeah, we, I would, would we would all just like soak off, our head. But everyone's yeah. like too uncomfortable with like, yeah, you're gonna like, oh, I'm not gonna take like, my we clothes would, off. We would go change. Nobody ever got naked in the in the locker room. Like in the yeah, it was always just like you. You had your boxers on, but like morning track practices before school. So that was terrible. so stupid. Yeah. I don't remember that. No, yeah. I only, we had morning. Ba- we had morning on, basketball practices on Wednesdays. We had morning track. Practices. Yeah, I, I did not go to those. I was like, I'm not. Doing <laughs> did not go to those. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do you remember when in eighth grade we had the there was a there was a student versus teacher or no there was a student oh versus my. student volleyball tournament. Yes, and like. Okay, so I know good. in California there's like guys volleyball, and in different states there's like actual high school organized volleyball for guys. There is, in, yeah. Like, oh. there's people that can get scholarships for guys volleyball. I wouldn't, Cal- but like I in Seattle, would have played. yeah. <laughs> but in like Washington, for some reason, that's just like not a sport, and I think in a lot of states that's like not a thing. But so none of us knew how to play volleyball. But there was like a student versus student tournament at the end of the year. And our team, what were we called? West Side Spikers. Was this the West Side students? Spikers? No, well, it was like no a student versus staff. Really? Yeah. Oh, we, I be, we were the only, only people. We were the, we were the, we were the only. We were the only student team that beat oh, the staff. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Or we were the we're only the first non. Team ever. We were the only students without volleyball players on our team to beat the staff. Yeah. 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 We were raw. Dude, we we played pretty. Good. I remember like Willig was like the best server. We just all came in with like jerseys and shooting sleeves on. Yeah, we like backwards <laughs> hats like, and like. I had, I had I had different elite socks on. I had like, like a blue hat over your, visor on. Yeah. yeah. Bro, I, I think I wore like three pairs of Nike socks. Yeah. So you could see all the different. Yeah, I did that too. I had different colored elite so socks. Funny. Wow, we were such losers. Looking back, I just I hate myself. <laughs> no, dude, so I, I, I would do that again. I would honestly do that again. <laughs> okay, well, I would not. We were so raw back then, man. Peaked in middle school. God, it's I remember so I went through a phase where I was obsessed with wearing jerseys of like sports players. Yeah, like I had, I had a lot of jerseys. I had too. so many. I still have all of them. You sent me a Snapchat wearing your old Michael Vick jersey. Oh yeah, I was <laughs> one of the few people big. that didn't burn them too. <laughs> yeah. So I still have it. Yeah, I still have my Cleveland LeBron jerseys. Mm. I never had a LeBron jersey. I didn't either. Probably never will get a LeBron jersey. <laughs> I want to get a LeBron LA jersey. I, mm. yeah, okay. I was always do you into think... like the weird players. Yeah, like Michael Red. I, 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 I was I was looking at Michael Red jerseys like a couple days ago. I have a Vladimir Redmanovich jersey. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's weird. <laughs> that's really My mom weird. bought it for me. I don't know. It's like having a Johan Petro. Oh, <laughs> Robert Swift. Oh, I got you, I got. I remember I got you a pennant that was a yeah, little Tupu pennant. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember you got me a kite for my birthday in third grade, and I never <laughs> opened it. I got you a kite? It was a dragon. What? I never opened it. Wait, why did I get you a kite? I don't know. I was like, why would I Why would I use a kite? Like, why <laughs> is this kid getting me? Gift. It was a dragon kite. Never opened it, and I, I found it when I was moving, <laughs> and we threw it away. Okay, so I got you a kite. Yeah. Never did opened you like it. like it? Clearly not. I didn't <laughs> open it. Um, it was a I green remember- dragon. Did you guys ever go through the phase with like obviously we were really into Pokemon, but there was like a Yu-Gi-Oh phase for me, I and I Yu-Gi-Oh. bought I one really of did. those things that goes on your arm. Oh, dude, I always wanted and, like, those. I always, I always wanted that. I, I don't know. Was I had so a Beyblade sick. phase. Oh, I had an arena, no. and I had like dude, a rechargeable one where I'd like dude, you press Costco, a bunch. Of- Costco's selling Beyblades again for Christmas presents, and I'm like, oh, I'm not so kidding. I, I would actually no, get one. No, dude, they're like 18 bucks. I'm like, I'm gonna buy one. I would get a Beyblade. Like, let it, let it rip. We just have tournaments. Let it rip. Oh my god. This rip so hard. Oh, gosh. Do you remember there was a phase where there was these gigantic Frisbees that were, like, huge, and they were, like, Oh, I had one inflatable. of those. Inflatable. Like, you put air in or... Oh, never no, mind. No, they weren't, like, air. No, I had one. It was, like, like, it was, like, a hula hoop, kind of, but it was, like, squishy, and it was, like, the middle was, like, all covered in, like, material. But was it, like, a... It was, like, a mesh, kind of? Oh, no, no, no not, not like that. Mesh, like... I, I know what you're Are talking about. Are you talking about, about the inflatable one? It was, like, a... Um... There was, like, different designs, but it was, like, it was, like, tinfoil, almost. Oh, like it know. felt like tinfoil, but like there was like different themed ones, and they were huge, and they flew really, really far. You guys no. don't remember what I'm talking? I don't know what you're talking mm-hmm. about. Man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, what was I gonna say? It's our first awkward pause. You guys remember there was a phase when we went through like a prank calling phase, and it was really fun. Yeah. And you could there was an like app the or there works. was a website on your phone that where you could go to. And if you called through the website, you could call other people's phones and it would you could choose that it would pop up on their phone as someone else's number. So I could call your phone 
from my phone, but it would pop up saying Jordan Shim. Oh, really? I, dude, I think and you and I think it was you and Connor. Uh, Connor like found out how to do that. Oh, he remember? No, he learned no. how to like forward yeah, calls. Yeah, forward calls. Yeah. So like, I was like, and I was like, what is going yeah. on? Yeah. He'd like dude. call you like I would call John and like my phone it would just go would, show up on Jordan's yeah, phone. Yeah, I'd like, be like, I'd be like, what is dude, going we were, on? We were so like not funny though. Like whenever we would do stuff like that, growing yeah, up, we, we just were so we bad. just didn't know what to say. Hey, um, uh, kiss my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle has this thing. I, I hope we'll see it on the podcast sometimes. But Kyle has this thing where, like, he'll start to tell a story, and then as he starts to tell it, he realizes that the story is like not going anywhere or it's not cool. And then he like will just be like, "Yeah, never mind." <laughs> like Kyle also, yesterday. Kyle also like notices weird facial features about people. Dude, like, like yeah. you. Like, <laughs> that sounds mean, but like, <laughs> it's, it's not a mean way. It's just like. The things you would see in a normal person's face, Kyle like sees every f- yeah. flaw. Not really flaw, just I like analyze people. Yeah, he, he analyzes. analyzes. He like overanalyzes people's faces. <laughs> it's like, like it's like, hey, you see that on the person's face? Like, n- no. It's like, oh, I kind of see it now that you pointed out. It's like that's like, so weird of you to see just that. Like a sports reporter, and he's like, bro, look at the shape of her nose. It's like tilting the left. Like, what? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, how do you notice that? <laughs> yeah, I'm just. I guess I just notice things about people. I'm very analytical. <laughs> Dude, isn't there a guy that like you hate? There's like a sports or no the Olympics guy. You hate the Olympics. No, my guy. mom hates him. My mom <laughs> hates Bob Costas. Bob Costas. <laughs> Didn't he get pink eye? Yeah, he got pink eye. My yeah, mom, and I remember you guys we, we were watching the Olympics and he he had just got back from getting pink he had eye. Glasses like, on. Yeah, you're like, yeah, you deserve it, Bob Costas. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Him and like Joe Buck just really pissed me off. They just why? <sighs> They're nice. They seem like nice guys. Joe Buck just like. Something about him really pisses me off. I don't know. I just, I can't stand that guy. I remember we went, I don't know if like other kids in other areas have like the same trends we have, but we went through a trend where like there was this whole thing of having like a punchable face. <laughs> yeah. You know? I, think like, I think that's still a thing. It's like, like, it's like your face is so punchable. Yeah, dude, but, like there was people that like, they never did anything to you. It's just the face nice is people. just it's so like, punchable. You just have a, oh, hello. But like, you just have like a really punchable face. Yeah. And it's, like, it's just like bothersome. It feels bad because it's like, there's nothing you can do about <laughs> it. Your face is just really punchable. It's like, like, I think that's from Step Brothers. It's, yeah, it is. Really? And Step Brothers is like, it's, uh, something about your face. Something about your face. Oh, it's just something I can change. one of these. <laughs> something I can like, change? No. Nope. Nope. No, you it's can't. Just, just your face. Just your face. <laughs> yeah. Which movies do you guys think you can quote the most lines from? Step Brothers, Benchwarmers, Napoleon bench Dynamite. Warmers. Oh my God, yeah. Like John Heater movies, Will Ferrell movies, Blaze of Glory. Yo, wait, what's the... Um, not bench warmers, but the other one where he's like j- jiggling, like it's like the football. Oh, the comebacks! The comebacks, oh. bro! <laughs> Yo, he has a hard time fumbling. So we're like, just... I feel like we're the only people that actually like. It's, it's a really bad movie. That. Yeah, everyone else hates that. It's movie. like one of those yeah, movies. It was like, it was like, like us three and then Trey. It's like, <laughs> like a, my fourth. My it's fourth like a movie that. Party. Uh, it's like a m- making fun of a bunch of sports movies. It's like making yeah. fun yeah. of like Remember the Titans. It's and like like, uh, like the scary movies. Yeah, but yeah. Like a yeah. sports like sports. <laughs> really so bad, bad movie, but it's really funny. <sighs> yeah, I remember like I think we definitely quote St- Step Brothers the most. Yeah, like everyone does. Like our whole grade. <laughs> yeah, everybody does. What's crazy is like I feel bad for kids <laughs> that are growing up now that will like never experience like Modern Warfare Two. Or Modern Warfare Three, or like yeah, but they're also experiencing Fortnite. Yeah. Okay, but like movies wise, there's people who probably will Such like trash never out. watch yeah, Step true. Brothers, or they'll watch it, but they won't think it's funny. They'll be like, mm. I don't know if my little brother was joking or not. I don't think he was joking. Like uh, a couple weeks ago, um, during a ha- during a halftime show for the NFL, like they were t- showing like. Yeah, so here's a new sneak peek of the new Aladdin movie coming out. It's like a human one instead of a cartoon. Yeah. And I go. Dad, mom, new Aladdin, and Kyle's like, "What's Aladdin?" And I'm like, oh I'm looking at him. I'm like, 2003, baby, <laughs> dude. That's crazy that people are born, dude. I that's think if you're born blowing. after 2000, like, you're like, like you're, 10 to me. like you're you're done. You're yeah. done. If you, like if you're born 2000 or later, it's like in my eyes, you'll always be like a five year old. Yeah, yeah. You're never. <laughs> yeah, my cousins. You're were, never. Gonna, you're never gonna know what we like went through. My cousins. Like, are never know. My cousins like, are that, ten and they were born in 2008. That's so weird. That's crazy. 2008, yeah. like, well, I guess even like 97, 98. That's like barely yeah. hitting yeah. the 90s mark. But, but hey, still, we're, we're 90s, 90s babies. But you yeah. know what's 90s weird babies. about us is that in a long time from now, like when we're like in our 80s, the fact that we were born like 
in the before, 90s, yeah. In the, in before the, the 2000s. Like before yeah. 2000, that's, that's like a milestone. Yeah, we're going to be like big ballers. Yeah. Big ballers in the 80s. world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Kind of. Do you got? Do you guys want to keep going, or do you feel like you don't have anything else? I mean, nothing that left. I can in keep the going. I just I ran out of ideas. <laughs> I ran out of things that I, that I had to talk about. Usually, the, the goal with the podcast, I think, long term, is to just be like one take, start to finish. But since we're kind of learning, we're gonna cut it up a little bit and take some pauses. But uh, first of all, before we do this last thing, let us know what you guys have thought so far. How's it been? Yeah, like. No, leave a what do you say? Like, leave a like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Drop a like down below, comment down below, in the comments, <laughs> the comment section. In the comments, drop a like. Tell me what you, you know, think about the, the comments, Kyle kid. Make sure to subscribe in there. And, <laughs> Tell uh, us who's the funniest. Yeah. And the ugliest. The thing about this podcast that I think is cool is like, I don't think I'm funny, and no, I don't really not. try usually to be funny. Yep. I think I'm like kind of weird. I think you're funny. I think you're funny. I think. But I think we all have different like. The audience is going to have to tell me that. <laughs> Give him positive reinforcement. Please. I really need good reinforcement. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, hopefully this is a good length. We'll cut it up. I know it's kind of choppy, but we'll, we'll get better at it. And like the thing I also want to try and do is like, yeah, this one was mostly like old stories and funny stuff. But like we also want to like we can talk about serious stuff. We super. Oh, wow. We really we super. <laughs> we really like current events. We can talk about <laughs> not really, but no. we can. Yeah, no, but like we can talk about serious stuff and like something happened or like, you know. Yeah. So honestly, leave a, leave a comment about what you want us to talk about. No one's gonna leave comments. No one's, no gonna, one's leave. gonna leave comments. I'll leave a comment. Yo, Start I, it. I think like if we if I post this on my channel or whatever. No, we'll my go, channel. Your channel. <laughs> I think we'll get like maybe a hundred views. Mm. You you should make it. We you guys gotta make channels. But um okay so the last thing to wrap it up I'm always curious. And we, we kind of talk about this sometimes, but we're going to go around and say one thing. I have a few things for. Okay. okay. <laughs> or you're just going to tear me apart. <laughs> we're going to do like the one thing that like annoys us the most about each person. Mm. And then maybe say something nice to like soften that burden. So it doesn't like, <laughs> you know, you can walk by. You're fine. Um, um, okay. So who wants to go first? I'll start with John. Okay. <laughs> Kyle's okay. ready to go first. Kyle's ready. <laughs> John is the worst at sleepovers. Like. This is just this is classic John. He gets this happened last night. He gets so grumpy. We were just watching the World Series last night, and John's laying on the couch, just like he tries to fall asleep before everybody else. Like he's the kid at the sleepover that always falls asleep first, and it's a sleepover at John's house, and we're all sleeping like on the ground or something. And John's like, "Oh, uh, I'm just gonna go up to my bed. See you guys." And it's also nine o'clock at night. And on New Year's one year, John is laying on the couch being a big grump. And we were just, we were like, oh, new, happy New Year's, like popping poppers. And he's like, you guys are cleaning that up. I'm going to bed. He tried to go to bed before New Year's even happened. That's something about John that has always bugged me. Yikes. That was a lot. Of Another time. thing about John is. Uh, I breathe really loud. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Is that sleepovers? I hear. <laughs> the loudest breather I've ever met in my life. Okay. Well, okay. What's very nice about you? Um, <laughs> yeah, well, come on, give me something nice. Uh, you're, you're kind of funny. I'll take it. Um, okay, first of all, the World Series last night. Okay, I flew. 18 innings. I flew from Texas, so I was two hours ahead. It was already midnight, so it's two in the morning. The game went to 18 innings. So I played a 20 inning game, John. Okay, that, we we gotta tell that story sometime. But like, no one's that was that. fair. I will admit, when I was in high school, like. Bro, but the only reason I was always so tired at nighttime is because I would wake up, like, really early. So, it's, like, equivalent. Okay, well, we're having a sleepover. The point of sleepovers in middle school is to stay up late <laughs> eating candy and stuff. And John's just, oh, I'm going to go to bed. Dude, I'm your John. sleepovers at your house for your <laughs> birthday? Everyone would stack the pillows, and you would come out of the closet, Bro, and, and, the we, would just, and we would just throw, like, yoga yeah. balls at you. Nothing will ever beat those sleepovers. Remember, like, uh, going in the sleeping bags at my house and just having sleeping bag wars? <laughs> and, and Paul yeah. would just start annihilating you. Yeah, yeah like, we'd be like, <laughs> you were in, like, a straight jacket because you couldn't move. Yeah, and you just try to knock each other over. Yeah. yeah. And then at your house, the whole... So for people listening, we would like at Jordan's house in their bonus room, we would turn off all the lights. It would be like three in the morning, black. pitch black. 
and one person would go in like the storage closet <laughs> and, and just, hide. And we just shut it. And then um, everyone else takes like the section or the, takes the sections off of uh, the couch off and just like stacks it up in front of the <laughs> closet door. Yeah. <laughs> and like we would rotate. Like yeah. it, it was like a whole game where like you'd walk out and it was pitch black. It was, it was like hide and seek. So you had to find the other three people, but they could throw stuff at you. Basically, like, you just walk out of the thing. closet and just get beat up. <laughs> you much. just get yeah. mauled. So like I had this like yoga ball. It's this blue yoga ball. And people would throw at you. People would throw pillows at you. <laughs> you would just get ruined. Dude, I, we had some serious... I got hurt, like, bad a couple times. Like, yeah. that was dangerous. <laughs> but, um... Okay. Okay, so... Wait, then do you have things about Jordan? Yeah, what pisses you off about me? Mm. I get gay sometimes. Um, what? Not There's really. not something about Jordan that just really gets... Just really grinds my gears. Dude, you know, he has, like, that character trait. It's not a punchable face, but it's, like... Sometimes it's just like sometimes I get annoying. Like okay, I just, I'm yeah. too much sometimes. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I'm sometimes, too much for myself. Too, sometimes Jordan's like, too much. Like, not especially like in a way where like I don't like you, but sometimes you're just, just too like, much to where you're like, it's just like shut up. Wow. Sometimes I just like there's times where just Jordan, especially like this all goes back to sleepovers, but like at sleepovers, <laughs> sometimes Jordan just be too much. Be like, huh, I'm gonna go tickle you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, relax. Bro, I don't want you to touch me right people. now. Yeah, but then I would get tickled back. <laughs> yeah, and Jordan just gets super strict when he gets tickled. He could throw like an elephant off. Yeah, dude. Bro, I would say like. Jordan definitely is the most like you know how you get tired and you get loopy. Yeah, Jordan really is like loopy. the most. Loopy. <laughs> yeah, he gets like really weird. Yeah, Jordan weird character. Jordan could also like this is this is not to talk shit about you, but like this is like a good trait to have. But also sometimes your temper. If if someone oh, pissed dude, you my, off, no, no, like, I, I know I have a temper problem. Yeah, <laughs> but it's not like so, usually it's good. But it's like at sleepovers. If You're you that way too, to, like, though. Yeah. <laughs> but like I would never like I feel like Jordan could like hurt people. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if someone pissed you off, it was like scary sometimes. Yeah, sometimes well, I do that like, with my brother sometimes too. It's like if he pisses me off, it just like start unleashing on his arm. Yeah, just, like, okay. Oh. This is something about Jordan. Jordan used to like boss his brother around and be like, go, go, give me fifteen push-ups. Go run a suicide. Well, yeah, he needed to get, get in shape, dude. Yeah. He dude, was such Jordan a lazy kid. Do he would run lines. Little Kyle would do whatever you yeah. said to him yeah. until he turned like seven. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I remember you'd be like, yo, Kyle, go downstairs and get me a granola bar. He's like. Yeah, okay. he's like, okay, I was just yeah. playing Xbox. Like, hey, can you give me a bag of chips? He's like, yeah. <laughs> God. Um, Lucky. Okay. Well, what do you like about Jordan? What's great about Jordan? Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's, he's fun to hang out with. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so genuine. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to pick out good traits about you guys. Jordan's definitely the most, like, if Jordan's passionate about something, like, yeah, he's, true. he's very into it. Like, if Thank you like you. it, Thank you really like Thank it. Thank you. But that's good. Because some people are just I like, like that. Eh. But Jordan's like, this is the best thing ever. Yeah. yeah. Jordan gets really amped up about stuff. Yeah. I'm either 0 and 100. Yeah. Never 55 or 58. Why does it have any other number that's in between? <laughs> <laughs> um, who wants to go next? Someone tell me something about uh, myself. I want to learn about myself. Oh. Notice that they can't think of anything. This is me off. <laughs> no, there's, it's just like there's so many. Um, Oh, okay. Oh, no, I got no, one. Early, I got early, one. Early in middle school. Early, early in middle school. Early in middle school. When we played cops or robbers, the only thing that would piss me off is like sometimes if like Paul was like giving you a lot of shit, oh, he yeah, would just true. go inside and not come quit, out, yeah. and I'd be, like, I'd be like, I'd be like, I'd be like, dude, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Paul would like trip me or something, and yeah. I just get all and mad. Just, and you'd like, like, I'm going inside. Like, I'm going inside. And I would go. I would go up to my room and I would like look at you guys out my window. <laughs> you were jealous. I'd be like, I hate these guys. Yeah. I did not know that. That's funny. Um, <laughs> He's like, I hate them so much. I hate them so much. I eventually would come outside, though. <laughs> the thing that annoys me about Kyle the most mm. is Kyle, I feel like when it comes to real world, like, adult things he's so helpless sometimes <laughs> like kyle like kyle for example had like last night was a perfect example he gets a box of corn dogs and he can't like this is just one example but like if he can't open the box instead of like getting scissors to like cut i the did box, get scissors okay but instead of like finding an alternate solution kyle would just struggle like, like i can't open the box and we'll just do it for like 10 minutes like most pe people they'll try something and if it doesn't work they'll be like all right what's the next logical yeah. solution but i feel like kyle if something doesn't work he's just like oh i can't do it it's so stupid it doesn't open <laughs> And I'm like, bro, just do it a different way. Those corn dogs last night. <laughs> terrible. So, so terrible. So terrible, bro. I didn't even you try th that. You, did, you think things wouldn't get bad in the freezer. It's like beef jerky inside of corn. But when it's been it's in the like, freezer for six years, <laughs> but it's like, eventually they did. Those corn dogs were like stale coming out of the freezer. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, so I think Kyle, like, I think he just, like, his mind is set on doing something one way, and when the one way doesn't work, it's like, oh, abort, abort, and, like, malfunction. <laughs> or Kyle's, uh, like, like, he'll get, like, a piece of tape and be like, yo, why doesn't this tape get off of the... Why can't I get this piece of tape off? <laughs> you and just like, pull a longer he'll, piece like, of tape. He'll, like, he'll ask these basic questions <laughs> to people when it's, like, they're very obvious solutions. <laughs> I, know something... I also have that thing where I'll ask people answers when I like could easily find yeah. the answer myself. Like, like in Fortnite when I'm you're like, hey, the gun's in there, and I'm like, yo, wait, where? where? <laughs> I hate it. Kyle's like, yo, the, I'm like, Kyle, the gun's right here where I am. Two seconds later, John, what, like, yo, where's the gun at? I'm like, it's all, it's right where I am, and he's like, wait, where are you? And I'm like, look at your map, like, <laughs> yeah. But I do that too. I'll be like, hey, uh, what do I have to preheat the oven to for the pizza? <laughs> And it's like, they're like, look at the box. Yeah. Like, no, like, just tell me. Like, what do I have to yeah, My dad's always like, just look at the box. Yeah. Well, what's something you like about me? Well, you are beautiful and kind and loving. I like Bullshit. your cats. No, I like uh, <laughs> I have good what cats. About, let's see. What's something about Kyle? See, like a lot of my friends don't understand my sense of humor. Yeah. So if I say something weird, they're like, what? But Kyle knows like my exact <laughs> sense of humor. <laughs> so like he can say, like send memes or like say things that I think are funny, but other people are like, what? Yeah, you know? That's my special ability. Yeah. He just gets it. That's the best. Yeah. That's the best thing about me. Well, <laughs> I don't know. But well, you, you, you're hot. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I'll take that. <laughs> I never see Kyle get mad. Like, I've never seen you get, like, really mad at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, because you talk about how I always would get grumpy, but I've never seen Kyle be like, dude, you remember, like, Very would you killed. guys threaten, remember when we would, like, threaten to leave a sleepover if someone pissed you off? I'm going to call my mom. And have <laughs> yeah. Come. I'm going to go we when we mess with him over there. <laughs> Wait, what did we do to him? What, what did we do to him? We, you guys put, no, you guys, like, put something on his face. Yeah. And then he was just. Oh, we drew on his face. That was a loose house. Oh, that right. might have been a different time. Probably. Yeah, I, we've done that before, but <laughs> we did know. something. Wait, did to he work. actually go home, or did he threaten? No, he. I probably well, threatened to go home. He threatened to go home, and like he was really close to doing it, but then he was just like, "I'm just gonna go back to bed." <laughs> Remember how we always wanted to watch a scary movie, and Willig would like Never. we would watch a scary <laughs> movie in there, and Willig would come in here and just God. play Xbox. Yeah, he's yeah. like still that way too. <laughs> yeah, he like, still refuses to watch horror movies. <laughs> yeah. he's oh. bad dreams. She's like a yeah. child. <laughs> I have bad dreams too, though. I don't want. I'll watch it, but just for the thrill. Like, I don't actually want to watch it. Yeah. Mm. I would never watch it alone. I'd watch it, like, with... Friends. I'd watch a scary movie alone. Actually, I That's didn't weird. start it alone, but then I... And, like, I watched the first 10 minutes, and then my friend in Bellingham left. He just, like, went to bed, and I was just, like... I was just, like, still kind of, like, drunk, and I was just, like, I'll just watch the rest of it. <laughs> and I got so scared by myself. I would never do that. <laughs> I would never watch a, movie by, a scary movie by myself. Um, okay, Jordan. What, uh... Oh yeah. Let me. I said mine about Kyle. Let me say mine about you. Yeah. And then you can. Say yours yeah. To me. And then yeah. Okay. I think Jordan. The thing. That, what I, I said this off camera, but like, Jordan is just the biggest bandwagon. I feel <laughs> that's like, true. Like maybe not. Maybe for sports, but not even necessarily for sports. But not like Golden State bandwagon. Yeah. yeah. No, it's more like bandwagon in the sense that like if Jordan like hates broccoli. Like, I don't but know. then, like Eminem but loves Eminem, broccoli. Yeah. If Eminem likes broccoli, I like you broccoli. Instantly are like, dude, broccoli's awesome. Like, I'll be honest, I hate those grape tomatoes. Those like ones in salad that Ew. just like circle. Like, like in, in a burger, if you cut it up and I just like take a bite, I'll be fine. Yeah. But like a grape tomato in my salad, I hate. Okay. If, like Kendrick Lamar came out tomorrow and said, like, you know what, grape tomatoes revolutionary i love them i'd be like you yeah. know what <laughs> you're probably right that always grinds my gears come like bro you don't like those like you don't like that at all you're just lying so, like, to yourself because yeah gonna... oh, is it? oh i'll talk about meditation yeah so <laughs> so um last night i was i couldn't sleep and so i watched a 90 minute interview of j cole um and he just like talked about meditation for like 40 minutes wait is that when he was like uh when kod first came out yeah he had, like, yeah yeah with this lady yeah yeah, lady? yeah okay yeah um, and so he's talking about meditation and like, I go see a counselor and my counselor's always like, you should try meditation for your anxiety. And I'm like, you know what? Eh, oh yeah, sure. Yeah. But I never do it. Last night, J. Cole's like, I meditate before shows. Sometimes I meditate like in my free time sometimes. And I'm like, meditation. That's, that's it. That's, Jordan, that's the key. Jordan's about to like move away. And I'm going to become a monk. monk. I'm going to become a straight up monk. <laughs> um, 
but yeah so that that's always funny because i'm always just waiting for the next thing like <laughs> what is jordan's next thing yeah, that he's gonna true. jump on the bandwagon yeah. for <laughs> but uh anywhere yeah. lebron goes oh and anything lebron does i love i love that Dwayne wade i love that it's really into fine wine now it, yeah <laughs> i went i w- i wasn't a wine drinker but i went to europe this past summer oh, now lebron you're... lebron loves wine Dwayne wade loves wine <laughs> big wine guy now jordan's a big follower <laughs> <laughs> yeah in a good way, though. In a good way. Yeah. I don't... It's not like he does anything like... If LeBron was doing crack, would you do crack? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it kept him in the NBA and healthy, maybe I'd give Yo, it a shot. I vividly remember... <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I remember Adrian Peterson would, like, eat Twinkies or something. Yeah, and dude. He had he Twinkies would, in like, his pantry. He would pantry. eat, like, really unhealthy Ew. and, like... Jordan was obsessed with Adrian Peterson. He was like, yeah, AP. so Jordan was like, yo, yeah. I can eat whatever I want. Yeah. Like, I don't need to eat healthy ever. Like, you Adrian like Peterson McDonald's doesn't McDonald's every day. Yeah. There's like a point where you had There's a point where I just started eating a lot of McDonald's. Yeah, I was like, you gross. know what? I don't remember the last time I had McDonald's. Dude, yeah, I can't. Uh, I, can, I, I like had McDonald's it, and then right after I two it. days ago. Oh, God. Shout out McDonald's. <laughs> sponsor us. Yo, sponsor this podcast. Leave a like and comment and subscribe, McDonald's. <laughs> um. Also, this podcast will like visually it'll look better because we probably won't record it at my house usually and we also i would normally have lighting kits and stuff um but yeah it'll get better but um it will improve okay what do you what's the most lovable thing about jordan i'm like an asian teddy bear <laughs> i think we said he was like <laughs> he's like 100 percent on stuff yeah oh yeah. yeah i think he's dedicated to stuff yeah jordan can get you to like something that you really don't like but he just won't stop talking about it yeah. until you like like it. That, that's kind of what that's happened how, with kyle that's with eminem yeah like with eminem and kyle Eminem because of jordan like, and I, I really like love him now. kyle liked eminem just like off his own like yeah. opinion God, and then <laughs> and then i like started shoving eminem in his face and kyle's like wow i like literally hate eminem like i don't <laughs> anything i know like, his birthday because of jordan now yeah. too october, october 17, 17. Shout out. what year <laughs> 1972, mm. three, 72 or three. Oh my God, my voice cracked. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Oh wow, that burp was. Really I think good. that was. Okay, I think Jordan, you're the last one. Uh, I, I already told what Kyle. Think about Kyle. Yeah. John. Hmm, I think honestly, I think. I think just the sleeping thing, dude. <laughs> Maybe just the sleeping thing. I can't believe. <laughs> I can't really think of anything. Just, okay, this, the reason I breathe aloud is no, 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 like, not, not, not the breathe, not the breathing. Yeah, okay. not, not the breathing. Oh, I've got a heart <laughs> not problem. The breathing. It's like just like you fall asleep early. Yeah, yeah but like <laughs> the point of a sleepover is not to sleep. But it's like if I stay up till four in the morning on a sleepover, the next day I just feel terrible. The That's whole the day. point of a sleepover. Yeah, it's a full send. It's a full send. <laughs> no, I don't want to. You're just hungover on candy. Those but are the days. But I do. Dude, Yo, no. you're not like you're not like zero to a hundred like me, like zero or a hundred, but like you're like like you're still very passionate. Fifteen to eighty-five. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's like he, yeah, you're like fifteen to eighty. You know, fifteen to ninety maybe. Okay. I'm I 50, 50 on everything. <laughs> I don't know but yeah, you're want. very passionate about things. Like you don't care oh. about like going after something. Yeah. John dropped out of school. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna drop out of school and. I'm sell the most educated crack. person here. If you're wondering. You could probably tell. It's actually crazy. Like Kyle's <laughs> the most educated person here. That's not. Oh yeah, we're not in school. <laughs> John and I are in school. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's funny. But yeah, you're yeah. the minority student. You're also the minority. <laughs> oh, true. Uh, true. There it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had to do it. Okay. <laughs> There's um, left it there for me. There's so much more we could talk about, but um, we've been going for an hour and a half, so I think that's good, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, you guys want me to do wrap it up? Yes. I'm Jordan. I'm Kyle. I'm Kyle. <laughs> Where can they find you if you guys want people to follow you on Twitter or Instagram? Uh, I don't really tweet. I uh, have some good retweets, though. Up. You should tweet, Kyle. You, at, should, up, you should tweet, like, once, some, once on Twitter, Twitter or Instagram. I, I think it's, like, jshim23 or something like that. I also have a SoundCloud, and it's pretty sick. So check what it out. It? Uh, just look up jshim. I just dropped the EP. It's actually fire. It'll be linked down below. My Twitter below. is kstaff36, K-S-T-A-F-F-3-6. I don't tweet, so I wouldn't follow me. Instagram, follow though. Follow him. Instagram, though. This guy's got a hot face. Kyle Stafford36. He's taken, though. Kyle Stafford36. Okay. He's taken, though. Take by me. Mm. So we got, uh, we got Jay Shim. We got Chug. <laughs> Big Chug. <laughs> and Chug36. Uh, my name the, is John. Or the Narwhal. The Narwhal. Uh, narwhal and uh it's at hey narwhal on instagram and twitter that's kind of all i use and uh this this is like the test episode like i said if this goes up 
I don't know. It might go up. It might not. But if you guys are watching this, give us feedback. Let us know. Yeah. And uh, we're hoping there will come a time. I don't want to say anything yet, but we're hoping eventually we could do a podcast like once a week. Yeah. That'd be cool. I'm down. Um, but anyways, uh, if that's it, drop a like, comment down below, subscribe if you guys are new. If we do end up doing this consistently, we'll start a channel for it. Let us know if you guys have a name for what we should call the podcast too, because we suck at that. Three guys, one pod. Three, Three guys, guys one. <laughs> Three guys, one pod. <laughs> All right, uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like. Wow, I already said that. All right. If you want my, if you want my snap, it's <laughs> no. All right. No, psych. <laughs> All right, done. See you. No, I'm just, right, I'm just kidding. Okay, wait. Every, wait, stare at the camera. Just, Wait, we'll go. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, bye. Okay, bye.